Item number SCP-4904 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures All seven instances of SCP-4904 are kept in a climate-controlled safe class storage locker at Site-15. Long-term tests, more than one hour, of SCP-4904 instances should only be conducted on reinforced modified hardware to prevent this deformation or explosion. Description SCP-4904 is a set of modified GD-ROM, gigabyte disk read-only memory, storage disks manufactured by Sega between the years 1997 and 1999. Each disk is usually indistinguishable from non-anomalous GD-ROM, save for a serial number identifying its origin as a batch of anti-piracy prototype disks created by Sega Japan's enigmatic R&D Zero division during the height of the console wars. Though an estimated 60 to 100 disks were known to have been made, only 7 survive in the Foundation's possession, each containing a copy of a Sega game released in the late 1990s. Namely, Sonic Adventure, Sega Rally Championship 2, House of the Dead 2, Sega Bass Fishing, Godzilla Generations, Virtua Fighter 3 TB, and an unreleased 3D rhythm game by the name of Arithmetics. When read, SCP-4904 instances cause the optical disk drives reader to move in unpredictable ways, accessing disk data seemingly at random. Each game boots up as expected, but any action taken past the first loading screen causes the display to deteriorate into chaotic patterns within seconds. Sprites and assets blend into each other in asymmetrical chunks. Maps recursively render onto other maps, and soundtracks transform within seconds into incessant oscillating noise. These eventually stabilize into complex renderings of landscapes and figures wildly inconsistent with the content of the original games, and computationally impossible for 1990s era video game hardware to render. According to Ken Matsuya, Andy Zero's former lead hardware programmer, there were many difficulties implementing the disk's anti-piracy encryption measures. A nanometer scale variable depth plan along the disk's grooves, allowing for the encoding of proprietary checksums, while the experimental disk could be legibly read from start to finish by Sega hardware. Diffraction induced inaccuracies in accessing pointers cost roughly 95% of dereference locations to be read as pointers themselves. This resulted in the disk skipping erratically back and forth as the optical reader loaded and accessed disk segments recursively until failure. The result was unplayable. The encryption project was abandoned, and the prototype disks quietly destroyed. Seven of the double-grooved GD-ROM prototypes are known to have been preserved by Matsuya before their destruction. With the help of improvised Sega hardware, Matsuya spent the next four years trying to understand the cause behind the disc's erratic behavior. Notebooks recovered from his department contained numerous sketches of the disc-generated visuals, depicting factual combinations of landscape and figures seemingly drawn from places outside the game data themselves and star-like spinning discs in the shape of eyes. Matsuya was later found dead from cardiac arrest in his apartment in August 2003, with large portions of his brainstem and limbic system missing, despite the lack of evidence of any human or non-human intrusion. The strange visuals playing on his television screen at the time of his death led to the investigation of SCP-4904 as the possible cause of death, resulting in its subsequent classification and containment. No such elements have been observed in testing. 